uh, YouTube. Um, I got myself a little 3D printer. Um, I don't know what you're thinking. You're thinking, uh, what the hell is that? A bigger printer? And where do he get all the money to buy that expensive one? But it's actually only the cabinet. Um, this was an old 3D printer that has been discarded because it's, uh, yeah, was too expensive to operate, uh, too old. Uh, it's done a job, and and uh, now it's only the cabinet that is left over. So I was in the need of getting a 3D printer, and I'm thinking, uh, what the hell? Why not build this uh, up as a home build 3D printer and use the cabinet for the for the printer so uh, this is an overview of the old, old cabinet before I begin um, it's a fairly big cabinet as you can see so here's the size of it 55 centimeters times almost 80 it depends on the feet the feet is uh, all up in the cabinet so if it's turned a bit up it will be uh, 80 centimeters and the depth is uh, yeah it's uh, 58 but the cabinet itself is around 54 something um, I think it's a very nice cabinet so it was sad if just going to the junkyard um, and if I build a 3D printer and I use it for some time and get tired of it I can always sell it because yeah it's a fairly nice cabinet and if it's working as 3D printer it's, it's fine you can see it's uh, old 3D systems um, with the logo there and here in the front there's some uh, some uh, some light I believe it's a green and a red one indicating it is uh, powered on and operating um, it's a bit of Knight Rider style with the lights and up here you have the model number so you can google it on the internet I like it's a desktop model so you can place this on your desktop I don't think you will have much more space on the desk when this is a using all the space but again compared to bigger enclosures it's it is a small printer in that size so it's split doors you can uh, open the doors here that's the wire for the for the light on the front so when the doors is opened it is not using a lot of space if it was one big door open um, because it's split in the middle um, there's some magnet up here to hold the doors closed um, but what you can see is, is uh, internal of the old 3d printer it has a lot of iron um, to hold um, it was a resin liquid printer so there was a, a, a mirror here and a mirror here and a projector protector here and, uh, the resin was coming over here with a film and it was uh, printing upside down the object was hanging here in the in the slides so 
So actually the printing area was not much more than yeah I guess 25 times 20 centimeters and the height will be maxed at 30 centimeters um, but if I build up a 3D printer in the cabinet in here it will be a massive nice cabinet um, yeah so the Noah doors is a nice design easy to close And the sides, if I can so you can see now I've turned the cabinet and here's the back side of it. Just missing a back cover that was sitting a, a big computer uh, box on the end of the machine that has been removed. So to remove the sides, you simply slide them back. All the internal things in here, all the iron in here, I have to take with a grinder to remove it all. Except this piece here that's going in, in here, I think I will cut it, cut it here. So I still have this uh, support to build the machine in. Because it's a big, big part of the structure here, it's the corner. So I think I'll maybe cut it here in this area. So this is the cabinet. Uh, I'll now use an ankle grinder to remove all the internals and I'll show you a video after that. So here we are some minutes later. Um, just for the fun of it I've uh, added a power supply to light up the two lights on the front to see uh, how they are looking and, and the colors and so on seems the camera don't have easy way to focus on on the lights but you can see the so I can reuse them I've removed the logo and stuff I'll also try to look at the removing this depending on if it take off the paint or not but but maybe make my own thing and set over the top of that and uh, I'll see but what I've done, I've uh, removed all the internal parts of the cabinet. So now there's a lot of space. 
as you can see I've grinded off the things here. And I've cut here and up here in each corner. It, it was welded to the base uh, plate here, but it was uh, not that difficult to remove remove the parts uh, from the cabinet. Here's the two inner sections that I've removed from the from the cabinet. So it's a fair amount of metal removed. Um, so now I have a nice big cabinet with some fancy, fancy doors, um, and the cabinet sizes are standing there. Um, I have to drill some of the holes in here because they are in inches and I will make them symmetric so it's easier for me to to change the things a lot to to service it and put it together so let's see release the handle so we can move it down Cover. So the top cover can be removed. It's just held by screws here and here. And lock in here it, uh, with the tabs here. So I've cut out the uh, section here. So it's a fairly nice cabinet. Seems that depending on how I mount the stuff, the internal room is 50 centimeters. by 60 centimeters so so 50 in the dip and, uh, and 60 in the right centimeters and the internally is 73 centimeters but the mechanics will steal some of the room and uh, there will not be be a place for all the things in there. I'm thinking of mounting. It's hard to see. This is the back side, but to mount uh, some uh, twenty millimeters or something uh, round steel and a ball screw here. So the plate that's moving up and down is, is mounted far back here in the cabinet. Um, I think that would be some of the first thing I will do. Um, down there there was a, a fan location. I don't know if I will use that. There's also a, a here a, Fan bar. This. Nope. This can be mounted inside here. Uh, a 
or something like that. The voltmeter is sitting at the uh, 2.2 watts, so the leads is just uh, uh, normal diodes, nothing fancy, uh, like 12 volt or something. But, uh, but I guess the wires is just going directly to the leads. There's nothing in this uh, front with the leads, it's just light. So that's the cabinet. Um, now I just have to build the internal things, but uh, then again I have my CNC and uh, lathe and all sorts of gear, so it should be possible for me to 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 build them. 3D printer in uh, just try jacking it up here. to have a van like this uh, in the workshop to easily m have stuff standing like this and you can move it up and down and move it around and it's super cool I think the size of the Seems to be uh, two and a half, three millimeters steel. So, yeah. So, so it's fairly, fairly strong cabinet, um, and I hope it's not too heavy now with the, all the stuff removed from the inside. So, it's just a matter of how much. I will put into the cabinet and and add so so thank you for watching my YouTube video and if you like the project and like me to make more videos about it as time goes please uh, give it this video a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and and let it come in comments uh, also uh, like suggestions to how to make it uh, this is my first 3d printer so I haven't built one uh, yet uh, I was planning to make a Ultimega clone but uh, yeah the project was uh, with some other guys and uh, I don't think it will happen uh, I'm not sure and I don't know the time frame of it, so instead I will, as this opportunity with this cabinet uh, erased, uh, come to me, I'll uh, go for that and, and see how it's going. So, thank you for watching. Please uh, thumbs up and subscribe and uh, place comments on the, on the video. Bye.